You are now listening to or watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Yeah, and if you aren't, you can head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and listen to us now, or head on over to Drib on YouTube and watch the video version as well. And if you'd like to stay up to date on when we're releasing a new episode or any other fun information about the podcast, you can give us a follow on Instagram at It Takes All Kinds Podcast and on Twitter at ITAC Podcast. That's I T A K Podcast. Without saying much else, we hope you enjoy this episode. Call me Asparagus. Call me a little bit off guard. <laughs> I don't think I was ready for that. Call me asparagus. 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 Well, everybody, welcome to the It Takes All Kinds podcast, episode 128. We're recording this on Wednesday, August 16th. You'll be hearing this on Friday, August 18th. We have a special guest. Oh, shoot. Sorry, that just came out of my wallet. What the heck? What is that? Can you, uh, what is that? What does that say on it? It says PDGA uh, amateur. Oh, that's my, that's my PDGA uh, amateur card. I'm officially a... Member of the Pro- Professional Disc Golf Association. As an amateur. Wow. Sorry, when, it, just, when it came out. I don't know what happened. I was just looking for some money or something in here. We're going to pay me I off? I was trying to remind. I was trying to remember my <laughs> Account credit number. card number. Yeah. So That happens from time to time. I'll forget it. Yeah. So I'm officially a member and I'm actually uh, playing in my first tournament. When? Okay. Next month. Wow. A month from today, I'll be playing. Are you going to be placing? Do you plan on placing? I hope so. <laughs> Do you plan on doing okay? I have a goal okay? set for myself, but the funny thing is, is that the court it's at three different courses, and I've never played any of them until like a few weeks ago. And the court never rules in your favor. No, they never do. No. But anyways, <laughs> that's just a little peek into my life. We have uh, a special returning guest here with us, mm-hmm. don't we, Gavin? What's his name again? Yes. Do you remember his name? James. Oh, it is James. Yeah, yeah. James Brendan Batchelor. James Bachelor. <laughs> he is here with us. He, if you don't know, if you don't remember, he took our wonderful photos that are now, I think you and I yeah, have still them have as them. our profile pic. Yeah. Waiting for one of us to change those. <laughs> well, it's, it's, uh, I I mean, it's, a gre- it's like anymore. mutually assured destruction. If one yeah. of us does it, then we both have to go, <laughs> we have to get rid of it. Yeah. So. Well, and the court always rules in your favor. Yeah. For whatever so reasons. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, if you sue me for it, I'll say that's just defamation. You're trying to prove me wrong. Right. I got sued for defamation. The court is rigged. For defecation once. Really? But he took our wonderful photos that we use as our profile images and they're beautiful. If you haven't seen them, go look on Instagram. Check, check them, out. them out. But you he's can actually here. look at them bigger now. You can like click on your Instagram profile. On can you really? Yeah, that's big. Mm-hmm. Huge. Literally. Yeah. That's big news. Yeah, huge. That's got to be really good for your industry. Yeah. <laughs> the profile picture industry. Yeah, have you, got, have you <laughs> gotten into that at all? Yeah, we have. I have not. So I guess I should look into uh, it. I think you're going to have to tap into that. <laughs> you're missing can you take pictures of me like at a pharmacy like concocting like a... They let, they let me in, yeah. Yeah, okay. IVs and stuff. Yeah, concocting okay. things in the IVs. Just, I'll sign a couple forms. Make, yeah. an IV, make it happen. Making IVs for the preemies. Um, this week, I mean, that's what not we, wrong. <laughs> what do we have on the docket? Well, we got some catching up to do. We got some things that we've been up to. It's a little bit, a little bit on the loud side. Uh, is this is this better? Yeah, we're gonna be taking a look back in history. At, <laughs> at, I like that. we're gonna time. be looking back at Brendan's viral history. Ooh, we're gonna be <laughs> at, that's me and touching totally right briefly now. on the. <laughs> Horrible situation going on in Maui. Also going to be talking about the uh, little Tay being brought back to life. Uh, Gavin might have some clips of the week if we get to it. A true crime next door drama, which you'll listen to. All the hits coming at you this week. It's crazy. Brendan, how are you doing, buddy? I'm good. Doing well? Doing very well. You're just doing your thing, huh? Just doing my thing. Taking photos. Nothing crazy. I don't see any cameras. I left him at home. I leave my work at home sometimes. Hey, that's, and you know, some people have the issue of always working at home. Yeah, some people do that. I think you're looking at two people who do a lot of work at home right (laughs) now, Gavin. I think you're going to have to reel that one in. Picture this, picture this, right? (laughs) Oh, get it? Picture this. That's just oh, like yeah, what you do. Yeah. yeah, that's the name of your podcast. <laughs> we should start. You guys, <laughs> picture this with James Batch. You guys want to come on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are we going to talk about? Aspect ratios. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get there. Boca. Boca. Focal range. Profile pictures. Pictures. Big. LinkedIn profile picture. Talk about color balance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rules cool. of thirds. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one. That's, that's a, like yeah. a. Mm. That's a whole episode. Uh, it could be. That's three. a whole grid. It could be like a trilogy. That's like a whole grid, isn't it? 
There's like, you know, you can fill in a whole grid. Yeah, it's for people who don't, who can't. I don't who can't what. divide things into three. I told it, you we weren't going to get into this. All right. But yeah, so you, so yeah, he's got, he's got, we're going through his search history tonight. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got a, he's got a great, he's got yeah, a great really next cool. like hour. Yeah. He's got some, he's looking forward to it. Yeah, he's got I some interesting wait. stuff going on in there that, uh, well, it's I just can't planned. wait to bring up to him. So yeah, it's our game show where we bring on guests and just, try to guess their viral internet history. Okay. We should start a show where we somehow hack people's computers and get their search history. Yeah. And just surprise mm-hmm. them. Yeah. And bring we them on be and like, be like, Get it says freedom of information. What's this about? What's this about? <laughs> we do freedom of information act. We have to know, you know, we have to FOIA right. you or whatever it's called. Well, we should just start dropping hints and be like, oh, so how did those Cuisinart pans work out? Were those yeah. good? Were those good? Yeah. You bought like a 12 inch, right? It was a 12 inch Cuisinart I pan? I also see you bought some uh, Kent Cuisine. Any questions about that? Or? Any, qu- any, qu- any <laughs> questions for any me? Any questions for me? <laughs> for the just, expert? Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys ever eat quid qu- 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 cuisine? Quid qu- cuisine. Did you ever eat those? Kid cuisine. Kid? No, they yeah. told us my parents wouldn't buy them for us. Do you not sure know what that is? Kid cuisine. Not yeah, really. the penguin. Oh, in familiar. the blue box. Yeah, in the blue box. Yeah, yeah I got you. It's got like I a don't blue think tray. so. It's like a blue lunch tray. I don't think yeah. so. I, I think that's I only had a few times. It's gross. just that's just factor. Factor. Yeah. That's our partner today. Uh, so <laughs> <that's> factor. <laughs> Actually, we do have a. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, Brendan, we do have a little bit of an ad read to go to. Okay. Of course, we want to thank uh, Firehouse Stories for not only sponsoring our trivia, but being our OG sponsor. They are. And uh, if you haven't uh, seen or heard of Firehouse Stories, go to their website. Find them on Facebook, Firehouse Stores. You probably have seen their fleet of red trucks out in the community. Very noticeable. Bro, <laughs> we want to give a big shout out to Firehouse Stores, of yep. course. Thank you, Firehouse Stores. Mm-hmm. Oh, Thanks, guys. Big fans of them and appreciate them sponsoring us. Yeah. Kid Cuisine was not good. No, it wasn't. They were never good. But, it's but like, you wanted it because it was bright yeah, blue, and then they also advertise it to us as kids, and which I think is now it. illegal. I don't think you can advertise like food to children anymore. Is that true? There's, it's definitely confusing laws. I don't know if you can't advertise any food, but I, yeah, there's some I think rules around making it too exciting. Is it really? Yeah, I, think I don't so. know. But it's still confusing because like cereal still exists in yeah. the store. So. Yeah, the honey. The, well, I, mob got another one. <laughs> Cancel culture. Got another cereal. Cereal's brand. down. Cereal's down. Can't have anything. Shit. I gotta check my four hundred one k after that. <laughs> I do. I put a lot of money. I got in big so cereal. much. I have all my savings are in four hundred one k's. Yeah, you're in big cereal. Four hundred one k's with big cereal. Yeah, I, that's the sound of the stock prices going down. <laughs> oh yeah, way down. That's me. Right whenever right. I look at my four hundred one k tonight. <laughs> Gavin, how are you doing, man? Uh, good. I've uh, been sleeping a lot. Enjoy my enjoy my last week of summer ever. Because you you pretty much start back tomorrow. Right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, and I have the weekend. Um, but that week this weekend is probably gonna be jam packed with stuff. So. Yeah, last summer ever. Yeah. Uh, because Wrapping after up. this, yeah, after this, I'm going to the uh, gonna, going going into the Golden off. Gate Bridge, jumping off. Um, I'm going to be going on rotations, so it's like I'm not going to be in school anymore, but I will be at, like, hospitals. Yeah. So I won't have, like, a summer. Gotcha. I'll be doing things over my summer. Will you miss it? Hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'll, I'll get to you. Uh, yeah, actually, I will, because it's like I'll never – I mean, I'll, I'll. the crazy thing is that the next time I'll have off for a longer period of time, because I have, like, I think six weeks off during this next year – um during well not this school year but the school year after this one and that's that's like my only break so i can imagine sleeping a lot during that and then after that anytime i have off would be paid time off because if you think about it anyway what were you saying oh i just had a question um how do you take classes in the hospital uh you don't it's like you're back you're like acting so you you have about two and a half years left is that right two years two years yeah this year of like in-person classes no I always remember to half. Not after this summer. Not after this one. Not so after this summer's yeah, over. this is uh, this is it. So this is my last weekend of free- last weekend last weekend of freedom ever. How are you gonna celebrate? Uh, sleeping. Okay, probably. Well, yeah, it does say sound goodbye. like a waste. Say time to enjoy sleeping, wasting is no time wasted at all. And what you just did you do anything fun this past weekend? Um, are you here to share? I went to the ghost concert. Right. Um, and we can get in, we can get in. We read the title. We read, read the article. Um, yeah, Ghost came to town for the first time in a year and a half. They came in February 22. Uh, we actually have a ticket on our fridge, so I looked at that today just to remind myself. That oh, okay. Was last time. That was the last time they were here. That was the last time they were here before Friday. 
Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they were at the Hollywood Casino. It was like 104 degrees out. Mm-hmm. Um, it was. So the controversy that came out from this is yeah. that Hollywood Casino, um, while people were were getting ticketed in, were telling people to take off face paint. And that's like the, that's like Ghost's whole thing is that you wear face paint, you go all out, you dress up as them, you do, you go way all out of with them, and it's like, like to take the face paint off, yeah, like wash it, yeah, like you know, like wipe it off, like don't wear it, you can't wear it, yeah, it's a process. Yeah, and there were people walking back. Uh, I didn't see any, but my my family members did. And they said they saw people walking back with like wiped off face paint. I thought it was just because oh, they were really? sweating, but <laughs> right, because it was hot as hell. It was hot as hell, just sitting there. But it didn't. It, it did cool off a little bit, but. They had uh, Amon Amon Armar, Armarth as their opener, which is like this Viking mm-hmm. Viking metal band. They're from Sweden, so Sweden. yeah, and they did have us do like a, a row, row. They're like they're like That's everybody gonna do it, and it, it, everybody's going row. It was it was funny. No moshing, it's just rowing. no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was, it was just rowing because they're Vikings. Yeah, but then what happened with because then Ghost put out a or Ghost put out like a state statement yeah with uh with them with yeah hollywood with casino. hollywood yeah. casino um and they were just told to remove their face paint and they said thanks to everyone who joined us for an amazing ghost show last night on behalf of our crew we'd like to apologize for a miscommunication about removing face paint this was not directed by ghost if you experienced last night's issue please reach out to us so we can improve cool um so we can improve uh for future shows so it sounds like there was just a miscommunication right. thing, but yeah, Ghost would have never informed them the, right. to take it off because they were face paint themselves. But it was just funny because Stereo Gum posted that. Yeah, like, it was, reposted yeah, it. I was like, whoa, I was just was there. Like, oh, that's like, weird. It was like an hour after the show that I don't even think they posted that and then um, posted like the pictures of the show. Mm. So yeah, they, it? it was really good. No, I'm I think I probably was, but you, I'm so it's so blurry. You know? Yeah. So I'm like, I know I'm in there somewhere. Well, enhance. I told yeah. it out. We got AI. I, I told Gavin a l- little bit of a callback here. I was playing disc golf okay. at a course over by the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater, and I drove by it, and it was just a sea of people in black T-shirts. Yeah, as far <laughs> as the eye could see, a lot of lot so of people in black. Funny. Yeah, not so black happens. face paint or anything. But well, no, how'd, they had how'd to wipe you do that day? Not very good. I'm it was sorry. really hot. We don't have to talk about it. Yeah, well, you brought it up, so thanks a lot. You have to. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to these courses and. Having some is that one of the courses for the tournament? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, having some. Did you say that? Uh, no, not a second okay. ago. Okay. I was just making sure. No. <laughs> Lots of bugs though there. My I got like crazy bug bites on my legs, but I'm I'm I have I'm getting the yips a little bit. I'm my my it's really nerdy shit, but my back can release. I'm releasing too early, mm. and so I'm trying to work on that. So. It's like John Lester and what are your methods base? to work on that? What's your process? You know, not release okay. early. <laughs> okay. It's it's a mental game, Carson. Yeah, it's all about mentals. Uh, the mentalist. It's it probably just like house? getting my my body turned faster. Okay. So. Anybody doesn't or do that very holding well on at all. the disc more. No, not at all. <laughs> I gotta whip that shit. <laughs> Actually, disc golf is fine for really? my back issues. Yeah. Really? I mean, I guess it would be better if I would be able to actually like rotate my hips more to pull back, mm-hmm. but it doesn't matter too much. So you're saying I'd be better than you at it? <laughs> it could be. Yeah, give it a shot. It's probably why I can't throw very far. <laughs> we'll bring this outside. We'll see. Yeah, let's we'll test take this. It. Yeah, we'll take this. Well, you, we did test it whenever we went to. Uh, yeah, we did. We did test it whenever we went. Did, I don't. Did you throw? I think you. No, were just, I didn't. You throw. were just a runner just, boy. I, yeah, just, I was yeah. just a dog. It was playing fetch. Just a dog. <laughs> yeah. I was still pretty new to it at the time. <laughs> I could probably throw way farther this time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Probably <laughs> what, go straight through let's that repeat building. It. Let's, re- let's see if we can make it to the next tree. Oh, I'll make it through the building. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. You going to pay property damage on that? <sighs> or, is, or are the windows open? I already paid property the taxes. Oh, okay. You want me to pay more? And then the other thing I wanted to talk about was yes. this uh, Harrison Ford uh, gave a Onion but not Onion article quote. Mm-hmm. Um from the Hollywood Reporter, uh, Harrison Ford got a new species of snake <laughs> that has been named Tachymenoides Harrison Fordy. And he said, These scientists keep naming critters after me, but it's always the ones that terrify children. I don't understand. I spend my free time cross-stitching. I sing lullabies to my basil plants so they won't fear the night. 
Have you ever tried it? <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, so I just wanted to bring your attention to that. That Thank you. Harrison Ford. Uh, I think Harrison Ford also gets blasted on marijuana every day. So They're good for oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. Good I, for him. Yeah, and I'd be like, I that would be the life to live. Because I'm pretty sure I, I, this might be a joke. This might have been a bit of, been a bit, but I I thought uh, Harrison Ford met George Lucas doing hot tubs because he built <laughs> compartments for weed in, in uh, hot tubs. Uh, who did Harrison Ford? Yeah, did? what? And Harrison Ford was old too. He was like forty when he did like. He was a carpenter before. Yeah, that's it was, all yeah. I, knew. I didn't know. That. I, thought I, thought was, I thought it was doing hot, <laughs> I thought it was hot tubs. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I got a hot tub. I got to put a. I'll, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna fact check that. <laughs> so, yeah, you probably yeah, should right now. <laughs> Don't be spreading fake news on this show. Uh, it, it, no, it's just a Dude, bit. Not when Brendan's here. Don't spread it when he's here. Um, so as far as I go. Some some cool stuff going on in the office. Yeah, how are you doing? I'll ask. Sorry, didn't want to right. leave you. To... <sighs> he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't say anything. I mean, he pretends like I'm. We didn't mean to hang out to dry. It's okay. No, it's it's no, it's a it's a rotation thing. We have it all. We have it all written in paper and the, went to the court. And of course, the court always rules in Gavin's favor. <laughs> um, so they took his side. He has to go first. But uh, in the pa- over the past week. No, nah, that's got to be a bit. Is that my phone? Why didn't it turn my? Not true. No, I don't think it's true. Yeah, it doesn't check out. Does it check out? I looked up Harrison Ford hot tub constructor. <laughs> <laughs> there are pictures of him in a hot that tub. That was my PSN name. That, you know that. There's that one. That's Ooh, a good one. Everybody's a, got that one. That's Everybody's a hot got tub. That one. I've got one. I've got that wallet. One too. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a few hanging on my wall above my bed. There's both of him. There's yep. two of him. Yeah. But, anyways. Anyway, what were you saying? Yeah, anyways. Um, last week on Office Hours. We released a. I mean, it's it's known now. I can I can, I can I can say what it is. Obviously, I think we already have, but it's a spoof on Bill Maher's Club Random, which is a terrible podcast <laughs> that that the, that Tim and Vic mostly have made fun of uh, over the past, I guess, year or so, and they Tim had the idea to do a spoof on it, and. Uh, we released the first one last week with Fred Armisen, and this week we're releasing one with uh, up and coming comedian Jay Weinhardt. Uh, are you guys keep doing? Are you guys gonna keep doing this? This is the last one. Oh, okay, I was gonna say like, sorry, wow. I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I, I'm sure I can. But well, it'll be me, out by last one for now. Yeah, it'll be out it, last one for now. <laughs> um, but yeah, the it, yeah, it comes out by the time this comes out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I won't say much about it, but very fun. Uh, lots of great reception from it. Gavin, I don't know if you saw, but Bob Odenkirk uh, I did. quote tweeted one of the clips we put out. Yeah. <laughs> which is really funny. Uh, this is, see, this is, this is what it, that's what it looked okay. like. And um, the uh, picture of the podcast. Um, see, look, it's like the exact same. Beautiful. We got to show him an app. Yeah, show him a thumbnail right there. No, no, no. Yeah, there you go. And then show them that one. Okay. You want to know who made that that thumbnail? That was me. <laughs> wow. That was my contribution to it. Yeah. Wow. So I didn't. That's shout impressive. Out to, thank you. Yeah. No, it looks good. I don't even it does do look good. Photoshop stuff like that, and I was pretty happy about it. Um. So I did that. I didn't have much else to do with it. Other than, I mean, obviously, with scheduling posts and stuff like that. But shout out to Chris who edited it. Uh, Wes who did all the camera lighting stuff like that. Luke who did audio on. Were those it. camera obviously, angles Tim, bad? On purpose? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you watch, if yeah, you've I've ever watched, watched right. an, ac- an actual club random episode, no, he has those angles. They're fucking. Awful. They're terrible. So Wes killed it with with doing the camera angles, but yeah, everybody it, did. Half the awesome shot was it. a lamp. Tim, <laughs> it's awful. Tim, as Bill Maher is perfect. He played it so well. He leaned to it into it like Fred Armisen probably says like twenty words throughout the whole episode. <laughs> it's mostly Tim talking over him, which is what uh, Bill Maher does, but. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's almost, it might be at 100,000 views now, that episode. Wow. Well, it's probably all the fans of Club Random coming over oh, and yeah. clicking <laughs> on it. It was funny. So there's a lot of people, a lot of our fans, a lot of the Office Hours fans <laughs> are in the comments, like, playing into the bit a little bit where they're like, why wouldn't Fred just let Tim talk? <laughs> they're like, why wouldn't Fred relax and have a drink? But then I think there's actually people who are like, Wow, this guy's an asshole. Why yeah, they just don't this? get it. Yeah, yeah. I love Especially I love that on, kind of humor yeah, in fan bases where they just the people who get it, it's just they right. feed into each other, and then you have those few people who are like, they don't understand it. Yeah, they're it's saying like this. they're saying that. 
especially on TikTok because that gets shit that shit gets spread around to everybody. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many comments that are like, oh, "This guy's an asshole." Are we gonna cancel what? him? Or, right? Yeah, wow, Tim's kind of a dick now. So, someone there was a comment that was like, "Wow, Tim, I used to really look up to you, and now you're feeding into this like <laughs> fake news yeah. stuff." And like that one, I was like, That's good. "I can't tell if this is real or not." But, That's good. Yeah. It's pretty great, but it was a lot of fun. So that happened. Um, also, over the weekend, I should have brought my earnings out with me, but <laughs> I uh, I hit pretty big at the casino. Okay, tripled his investment. Yep, I certainly did. I won a hundred bucks. Wow! And I I could have won more, but I had two brothers chirping in my ear, mm. telling me I needed hey, to you, stop. You ended on a one. You head. ended on a win. I did. I yeah, did. so it, so it's better than ending on a loss. But I w- I went up fifty more dollars after you guys had already told me to pull out. You remember when that happened? A lot of people no. don't talk about that. A lot of <laughs> no, people. But, a lot of people are talking about that. No, but uh, it's just slot machines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just one slot. Machine. This is so. This is what this is what happens to me. I walk in, I put my money in, and I win like a decent amount. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, well, I don't want to stop now. I've been here for like five minutes. And then so I play more and I walk around and I play more and then it's gone. Yeah. So this time, what do I do? I go in, I put my money in. I said, imagine I all up. the imagine all the money you could be saving if you just go up right. and then never and then pull out every time and then go put it in savings. So I tripled my money within like what, fifteen minutes? Yeah, it was so so little. And then I walked away and then I'm just standing around watching everybody play blackjack for like the next smoking hour. Smoking lung and a half. darts. <laughs> we were smoking cigs. Dude, you go to the penny slots upstairs. Were you at Ameristar? I think there's... Yeah. Wait, are those not penny slots downstairs, too? No, those are the big boys. For wait, a buck, really? For a buck. Yeah, they're like 75 cents. In there's a buck. ones oh, upstairs like that are like cents. five Actual cents. Well, so that... you can just like waste hours. Or just like... Oh, shit. If, you would, if you're just there for the entertainment of like, I'm bored and I want to play slot machines and get free mm-hmm. soda and or drink beers. Right. Um, yeah, there's ones upstairs. I figured out there's a warm soda machine and a cold soda machine. Kevin figured it out. Warm because on I purpose? Don't... Or just a... No, I mean, I did intentionally figure it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, because there Here's was one experience. that's really close and it was the warmest hot it was like almost hot Dr. Pepper that we had a long hot time hot Dr. Pepper hot Dr. Pepper um, and then there's one down the way a little bit and that one's cold we can yeah. point it out to you Let yeah. me know. I'll show you let's go to you guys go often yeah <laughs> Honestly, I, I, have, do. I, I don't gamble I, think I, did, I did that one time and I said I'm good I like to go to the penny slots. I won seventy bucks one time at a slot. Ooh, but, nice! But that was so, every other time. It's like, yeah, I, I'm like, I'm gonna spend fifteen dollars right. on slot entertainment, and then yeah. I'll spend like ten or That's, fourteen. That's uh, fifteen hundred pennies. <laughs> yeah, you, you can really go for a long time. So the the machine we play at, or the machines downstairs, the lowest denomination you can do is seventy five cents okay. a spin. And I'd been doing that. I've this is was what the third time I'd been ever. Mm-hmm. So the last two times I was doing only 75 cents a spin. Mm-hmm. This time I was like, fuck it. I'm like, I'm doing 25 bucks on what? A buck 50 a spin. Yeah. I thought you put in 50. I put in 50, but I was doing a buck 50 a spin. Oh yeah. 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 But I was like, I'm just going to do 25 and then Big I'm going to stop and go down. Big boy. So that's how I got up so much is because I was doing a buck 50 a spin. Yeah. When they but hit, I was like, they hit harder because it. it's, yeah. yeah, you got to do it right away. So I was winning like $20 minor pot thirty dollar uh whatever the next one up is and i was just fucking the person that was next to us got like there's like a mega gram pot that's like nineteen Mm thousand or whatever they they got five out of the six coins of that i did that that first time we went like i did that the first time they probably do that so that you're like i gotta do it again yeah i gotta keep going now i know when to stop okay i know i have control over it brendan it's crazy because like he didn't stop (laughs) unless he had like three people telling him not to well so at first, I was like, I, I literally just want to play because we've only been here for like 15 yeah. minutes. And then after I kept saying it, and it was mostly Gavin's brother, Sean, getting mad at me. And after I see he was actually getting mad at me, I was just agging it on at that point. <laughs> and I didn't care. And so I just kept being like, one more spin. Yeah. So. No. And then you hit it big. And then I, well, I hit, I hit big first. And then I. Oh, okay. Never but hit they, big yeah, again. they were. Yeah. Ga- whenever I went up 50 bucks, Gavin was like, pull out right now. Yeah. Take it out. And I was like, no. And then I just kept like spinning and spinning. And then I went up more. And then they were like, dude, you now gotta you stop. Have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta stop. And I think I lost like five bucks before I pulled out. It's easy so, to get caught though. You like it's keep just going. fun. Like I don't, you know, I brought this money to waste it. <laughs> like why not? But it's like you know, also having a 
hundred dollars that I didn't have it's before. Nice. Yeah. Buy yourself some. Buy yourself and a you nice know little what lunch. Do with that next week. I'm gonna go to the casino. Keep it going. There. Bet 150 this time. <laughs> well, I gotta give it back. You gotta give. You gotta give. So that's probably what I'll do with it. Anyways, enough casino talk. Um, Brendan, are you a Black Mirror fan? I've seen sporadic episodes. I haven't seen the newest season. Or mm-hmm. I, I saw the first two seasons like right when they came out, all of them, and then I stopped watching. And then I'd seen intermittent episodes throughout. Did you stop watching because you didn't like it, or is just no? Like, I think I just really... was like, I don't know. It was one yeah. of those shows. That I was just, just like, bemoaning it. <laughs> I just haven't Ugh. checked back in like too yeah. much, but God, this sucks. <sighs> God, this is an apocalypse. I gotta watch another episode. <laughs> oh God, I hate it. So I, I was always like a huge. Well, always. Whenever I started watching, I was a huge fan of it, which was like. I think I started watching it in like 2017 ish. No, I think I started watching 2018. Mm-hmm. I want to say, and I, I was watched like, it in 2017. So. Well, congrats! <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get a fucking trophy or? Please, um, and I fell in love with it. Trophy. I was like, "This is amazing! This is so good!" That was kind of like what made me really want to like work on a Netflix show like that. Um, and then it obviously during the pandemic, the 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 guy, the creator of the show, was like. We are not releasing anything because shit's too serious right now. Interesting, yeah. And so they like released this one weird like movie that was like a, a pick your, choose your own adventure movie. Bandersnatch or was that? Yeah. Yeah. I did that one. Yeah. That was like four years ago, right? Ba- I think yeah. It was twenty eight. Ba- I think it was before COVID. Bandersnatch. Yeah. yeah. It was. And then during COVID, people were like, there's oh, but- a new season. And he's like, we're not doing it. Oh, anymore. gotcha. Yeah. Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. Um, with Grimis. With Grimis. Uh, McDonald's. So then this last this most recent season just came out what july it's been a while it's been a while june june Shit, it has june. been two months wow. yeah. and june. i finally finished it so i started it and the first episode is like oh this fucking three hours sucks. long no it's short but oh, it's like it's t- bad or it's, it's just terrible. like draining oh, it's no. terrible like it's a bad it's corny it's weird it's not funny it's just stupid and it's like very Damn. meta and it sucks and i yeah. was like I've never felt that way about any of those episodes. Yeah. There's also, episodes where I'm like, meh. You also waited like three years. Right. So you're like. I was pumped. Yeah. Where's, so, where's hurts, the payoff? It hurts a little more. Right. So I watched that episode and then probably didn't touch, pick it back up again for like two weeks. And then I don't See, remember. it's really easy for him to stop and go on these things, but he can't stop and go on <laughs> casino stuff. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. That, when money's on the line, baby. <laughs> when money's on the line, baby, do I sing? I'm going to pull it up. Oh, wait. I don't know oh, if that's what I do when I write. At the casino? it goes? Yeah. Yeah. I go, everybody with me. <laughs> Every spin? Yeah. You know, the old ocean. I'm going to pull it up because I need to look at the episode list. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, But then, no, don't start playing it. <coughs> How do I get it to shut up? Well, I'm watching an episode now. You guys mind? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this would be a good way to consume it. You guys mind if it? I put on an episode? Um, so then, I finally pick it back up with... The next episode was uh, episode, and I won't give any spoilers since you guys haven't seen it. But uh, Lock mm. Lock Henry is the next episode, and it was kind of slow. And I didn't. I was kind of like, I almost stopped it at one point because I was like, "Man, this season just sucks." Damn. And then the very end, it ends really well. Gotcha. And I was like, "Oh, okay." Mm, they did. They, they got. Me. They did. Uh, did they, they do the? Me. Did they do a twist? Yes. Um, yeah, there's a big twist. It's like an M. Night Shyamalan Malam movie. And he then, was dead the whole time. And then the next episode, Beyond the Sea, which has Aaron Paul in it, Bitch. is phenomenal. Is that 80 minutes? 80 minutes. Whoa. And it is so fucking good to the point where I almost <laughs> cried Yo. at the end. Yeah, that's Yo, just a Mr. Movie. White, <laughs> I'm in Black Mirror. He says that. <laughs> He's, I'm in really Black Mirror, that. Mr. Cool. White. Brian Cranston, I'm in Black Mirror. <laughs> Yo, Mr. White, I'm in Black Mirror right now. Pick up the but phone. The concept of that episode is crazy. What happens in it is crazy. It's really fucked up. And it's really sad. Tell and it's, it's so good. <laughs> it's such a good episode. And then uh, Maisie Day was... Soda! It was good. Was that good? Did I like that one? Oh no, I did like that one. That there one only was five good. episodes. Yeah, Demon Seventy Nine, which I just watched over the weekend. 
was <laughs> I wish it was better, yeah. but it was a little corny again. I don't know. So overall, there were there was like it did such, not come out during the writer strike either. So right it came out right before. It was such a spattering of like my emotions were all over the place because it was like I fucking hated it. And then I was like, oh, this is good. And then it was really, really good. And then it was like, okay. And then it was like, eh. So it's just so weird that, like. Yeah. At least you can, I like, didn't know take that would what happen. you like and appreciate that on right. its own. Which is with good. with other TV shows, it's like, if it's all connected. Yeah, if it's all the if same thing, If a couple thing, episodes bog it down, you're like, mm-hmm. oh, you right. feel kind of weird about it. But at least that one short film basically sounds like it's awesome. Some would say yeah. Game of Thrones is like that, too. Never seen it. Well. Sorry. You've never it's seen okay. it either. You're no, I've never seen yeah, it, but exactly. I, just, I know how to reference he do, it. He likes referencing things and not saying whether he's seen it or not. <laughs> and I just said, well, what do you think about this, Brendan? Are you allowed to reference a movie or a TV show if you've never seen it? Um, I mean... Have you done that? I'm sure. I think it depends on its level in the zeitgeist, probably. Okay. Like, like how, uh, how relevant it is. Like, I've never watched Breaking Bad, so I just referenced Breaking Bad <laughs> okay. with that. Right. But I mean, everybody I was, knew what I was talking about. I was like, you know... I, there was no part of me that was like, does this guy get it or what? Well, so tell me if this so, is enough in the zeitgeist or not. Uh, the first time this happened, I told Gavin, had you ever seen the movie Office Space? Oh, and this was over text, and he made a reference to it. And I was like, oh, have you seen it? And he was like, no. Is that yeah. is Office Space from 1998 or 1997 <laughs> enough in the zeitgeist to be referencing? I think so. I, I guess maybe enough. it also just depends on it's really just like up to your confidence level. Like if you sure. think that you're like, if you if you think the reference will, you know, it hits. If, if you got it, you got most it. If, of, if you're not going to be I will say most of the time it gets hit. Yeah, but then what Because if you completely if... miss the mark, it's just on you. Right. right. Like if you just say something really embarrassing, like right. if you say something about pterodactyls and they're not. So you're okay, okay with Jurassic Park. It. You're okay with people referencing things even if they've never seen it. Yeah, I think so. What happens if somebody does that? Like what Gavin just did with Breaking <laughs> it Bad. It could be a little disappointing sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh my God, I love that show. Oh my God, he's a. Because what if it's like, what if it's like a romantic partner? And uh, not, like, I don't do that with romantic and, partners. And I'll just watch it with them so I can start referencing it. No, you definitely make references, I'm sure. Not with, not with, not with stuff I haven't seen because I kind of want to impress like my knowledge on it. It's not. But if it was a reference to like Breaking, I'm gonna Bad, catch you in the act at some point. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's like a crime, but and, it's just kind of like you could get caught in an uncomfortable right. conversation. If and I somebody, feel like, but also, yeah, it's like some things are. And just then it can enough. also just lead into, hey, let's watch that then. Yeah, but you've already seen it, so why would you watch it again? Because I want to. What wanna if they've already it seen it too? No, let's just watch it again. You can rewatch things. Now, now something with like Breaking Bad, I think is okay. Because there's memes with that stuff in it. That's like one of the reasons why I only made. know, and I've seen so many, and there's so many clips of Breaking Bad. It's almost, on it's a little unfortunate how many memes there are. Great yeah. show, and it's like all the serious <laughs> moments are like a goof I now. I am the danger. <laughs> it's like really dark, serious moments, or you're, when you watch it, you're gonna mm. be like, oh, that's a joke. Well, I can't that's wait to watch joke. it too because I've never seen it either. It's great, but I want to see it. There's, I a a joke. Watch there's, it. there's definitely a joke that I've made before where uh, it's like. I I'm not in danger. I am the danger. Yeah, and, and there's like, like a, that happened. I say that all the time. There's like a good games. remix on YouTube that's like somebody makes remixes out of TV shows, and it kind of sounds like when you know when movies do a scene that they're like, "This is going viral. We've remixed it. It's got a million hits." It's kind of like that. You know, yeah. it's like kind of funny, but yeah, just re loop. But it's the same thing <laughs> over and over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I know I suck for that, Carson, but. Yeah. You know what? Because my I think, opinion I think on it, it if, I, okay. if I may, is yeah. that straight to hell for that. I don't, I don't like. He that. wants to crucify me for it. <laughs> well, I wouldn't oh, put it that oh, way. Oh, put me on a cross. <laughs> I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> oh, but. oh, put me on a cross. So you're a defender, defender of the arts. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a white knight for the arts. Yeah, I'm an art. You knight. can't say that about my favorite movie. <laughs> you can't say that, dude. You've never seen. You've it. never yeah. seen it. You can't say that. I. Do you mean pull out my uh, movie watch card? Yeah. You mean pull out a card? <laughs> Your punch know? card. Yeah. See, I've watched this movie. I have it on my my scratch off of my scratch off <laughs> well, bingo that's, card. Yeah. That's what I've started doing is whenever Gavin makes a reference, I go, have you ever seen it? And nine times out of ten, it's a no. no. Yeah. Because I just so, don't watch stuff, man. I just, watch, I just don't watch stuff. I don't. If, if you like reference it and then you're like, that sucks. And then you're like, well, you haven't seen it though. Right. If, you, if you're making assumptions of like. Yeah, I'm not going to say I'm not like making a judgment call on the show every okay. time. I'm just referencing oh, yeah, it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And I just I guess I, I guess you could assume that I'm making a judgment call and that it's good enough to reference. I just don't think it's okay. Wow. That's you know, that's okay. I just think it's interesting. I don't think it I don't I think it's fair. Agree to disagree. I don't think it's fair for all the people who have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> The millions of Your millions brothers of in arms. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here wa- spending hard my my time that I earned watching Office Space. That's the greatest part. Just is that to get I, you to reference I haven't, it. Had, I haven't had to I waste even, any time watching anything I don't want I to. I couldn't even make a reference to it before he gets his out. And it's like, wow, okay. Yeah. I just spent an hour and a half watching that movie for nothing. You do a lot of you know, you do a lot of pop culture homework. So you're just mad that like right. he's just not even studying. He's yeah. not even studying. Yeah, basically, he's, just, yeah. he's just he's taking the spark notes. And I'm over here putting my yeah, time. C's get in. degrees though, so you're you know. No comment. <laughs> you know, Gavin, you you always were an underachiever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people always told me. They said you need to, you you need to start working a little bit harder. Can I talk about something that I texted you once and you didn't respond to me and I, it made me nervous? No, what was it? We were talking. I mean, yes, you can, but no, I don't remember what it was. What was it? You said something along the lines of like. <laughs> we do this a lot but this time i thought i maybe took it too far <laughs> you were like i don't know we were talking i was like oh i don't know i was like reminding you about something or asking about something and you were like oh could you hit the camera again yes and uh if you can't i can always get up and was it the was it the off hours thing no 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 this is completely unrelated um and i was just i asked you about something you were like no and then i was like i was like oh you need to get your shit together and you're like yeah i definitely do and then I said something like, I wish I had a screenshot of it, but I was like, I was like, yeah, you really do. You're really weighing everybody down and you're oh, a big yeah. nuisance on your whole entire family. It's <laughs> yeah. like something along the lines I, yeah, of that. Yeah, that was like and that. And then he didn't respond to I did not respond to that because I'm like. <laughs> and it made me nervous because I was like, oh, no, wait, I, do that, I call? That is, <laughs> that is my uh, normal con- stream of consciousness right there. Because uh, it was from a while ago. <laughs> but it was so funny to me and then you didn't respond to that i was yeah, like yeah it was uh july 30th you said yeah, yeah, yeah. i really hope so you've become <laughs> right read you... the whole read the conversation building up to, if it's not too personal oh i gotta find it because i thought it was so oh funny. okay um like would you start... be able to record on wednesday instead of tuesday if needed i said uh, off all week do you prefer wednesday he said awesome wednesday at 8 p.m would be perfect I said, perfect. I think that'll work better anyway. I think I have to move everything by Wednesday. He said, oh, good. So that gives you more time to do that. I said, yes. He said, hopefully you'll have your shit together by then. <laughs> God, I hope so too. I'll figure it out. And then he said, <laughs> yeah, I really hope so. you become such a nuisance to all of your family and friends. Just a dead weight at this point. <laughs> and then what was Scene the next text after read. that? How's the move going? <laughs> oh, because I was nervous. I was like, shit, he hasn't yeah, said anything, doing, man. Yet. It's fucking awful. It was terrible. And then he didn't respond for a while, but it was because he was moving. But yeah. I just thought it was so it's funny. Hot. It was hot. Too. <laughs> it just left you. Yeah. Because I'm just typing in my car laughing. Because I'm like, it's such like, an absurd going to love this say. one. <laughs> I, I can't wait to hear back. Calling up a dead weight. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot I was doing that day before, but I was like. Probably packing or yeah. something. Something but important. Mentally but prepping. So Your smile funny. fades as you wait for the text back. Yeah. I, like, mm. I start getting nervous. My hands got all clammy. Oh, anyway, so Black Mirror. And then last night, I went and saw, again, no spoilers because these two gentlemen have not seen it. The movie Talk to Me. Have you seen any trailers for it? You're a movie buff. Uh, you I make can't references remember. to movies. A24. I do. I do. A24. A24 movie about the movie? hand. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ashley wants to see that, so I think we're going to see it soon. I have no spoilers no, at all. Spoiler. Um, I'm just going to give my rating of it and just kind of a overview of it, in my opinion, if that's okay. Are you okay with that's me? That's okay with me. Because, I, you know, I don't know if you're one of those guys where even if me saying it was bad or it was good is like, no, as long as you're too not much. Like, here's a plot and here's how yeah. it's resolved. No plot, So if I no told you about point. Scream 7, I, and I can reference this, Dude, I, don't talk. <laughs> I have watched Brandon it. That's a bad Scream movie. 7. You should not watch that movie. Oh, no. It was absolutely terrible. Um... I really liked it. I did really like it. A few things I felt were a little corny. She was dead but, the whole time. Yeah, and it was Bruce Willis. <laughs> have you seen that movie? I have, yes. Okay. It okay. scared the fuck out of me. Name it. Sixth Sense. I couldn't think of what the name was. So That's I a movie I didn't too. know the twist of when I saw it. For the no, first me time. neither. Oh, really? Yeah, straight up I did not know it. Though. The most talked about, like... Twist of all time. Yeah. yeah. And then I think after it ended, I was like, ah, oh, that's this movie. Oh, I, but I just, I'd known it from people like making jokes about it. Yeah, but and then like, I was like, that's oh. like the movie to reference and spoil. But like, I it didn't click until after the movie ended. So no, yeah, right. Same. Back to you. But yeah, Anyways. back to you. <laughs> anyway, so Bruce Willis dies. No, um, 
uh uh, yeah a few things that i thought were kind of corny and then like afterwards i was like okay that makes sense i think the build-up is really good the background of it is really good it seems like it could be realistic it's not like a scream or like a you know jason or whatever where it's like this doesn't really make any sense like surreal experience yeah and i mean it is but it's like there's not like kids hiding things from their parents completely kind of is that's a little bit too far of a plot point but um so i won't dip any further uh i will say that it felt a little bit it felt like these guys watched hereditary have you seen hereditary yes and we're like oh we should do that okay it's not really it it's just it's kind of similar okay that's all i will say like an if, om- like homage or just like just yeah. vibes musically kind of okay vibes definitely not like we're just like because sometimes people like studios will be like we are literally just going to do that but we'll write a fake different plot around it but it's basically the same movie so it had heart yeah. to it it's, I guess. A diff- it's a completely different movie but yeah. there's like yeah there's like homages to it like okay. a lot like a lot so there's the, like it feels like there was a reason for it to have been made not just to make money by right doing what hereditary did copying what Ari Aster did but yeah like uh, uh la la land like uh atlantis <laughs> Atlantis and the Lost Planet or whatever. The Treasure Planet. It's like those came out the same year. Or Bugs Life and Ants. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It's not like that. Not right. like that. Um, but definitely homages to it where I was sitting there kind of being like, okay. Like once it, it and it wasn't like right away She's that I felt car, it. She's head pops off. Not quite. <laughs> okay. Okay. But lots no, of homages. No I can't, I spoiler. can't say anymore, but yeah that made me think of another one which is kind of funny but yeah it wasn't like in the moment i didn't realize that it was like as it, it went on that i was like oh i get it oh um, i get it she lopped a finger oh, off I get this it. time <laughs> well i get it now they're watching office space because gavin's never seen it yeah, that'd be um, great if you could come in on sunday there it is again <laughs> i still haven't made one reference to the movie ever and he's making more um my rating of it though not scarier than hereditary very scary though uh, it takes a minute to get scary, and then it's real good. I gave it, I believe I gave it a seven and a half out of ten. Okay. Definitely worth seeing. Are you ex- Definitely see it. Okay. I would want to watch it again. I heard they're already in the works on a sequel. Wow. I think. I think I heard that right. Um, and Barbie. Yeah, very good. Very scary. Are you excited for the um, Exorcist movie? Interested? You know, I saw the trailer... I think I've seen and that I, trailer twice now. I gotta say, I'm not. I'm really I'm like, not. I wasn't super excited, and then I think I saw... I think it's the guy who did the new Halloween movies. Did you see those? Yeah, he did do that. Have you seen those? Yeah, yeah, I love those. Okay. Those are great. I have... I haven't seen those, so I won't reference them. <laughs> well, what well, reference would you make to it? I gave you permission. It. Well, actually, there are references <laughs> yeah. you can make to it. Michael Myers. Uh, Stab. Fucking... Uh, the the lady from Glee... Jamie Lee Curtis. There you go. It comes back and <laughs> just that referencing one. her name. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's my reference. I, I love the first one, and then it felt like the other two. I wish it would have been at most two movies, maybe one. I yeah, the second one, the second one in that 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 uh, trilogy, I yeah. didn't like. Yeah, I didn't like it all. It was just like they felt like extended scenes. Yeah, they, they were like, "What's next?" And did you see the the one that came out? I last did, year? and it, it was. Uh, it, I liked it a lot. Not I, as much as 2018, yeah. but... I kind of maybe just wish it would have been... I think if they had maybe taken what they were trying to do with the second one and just maybe added that to the third one and made it two movies, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think three movies just kind of stretches it thin. Yeah. And it's just kind of like, am I going to go watch the trilogy? Mm. So right. that the middle part of it is like two hours of him just roaming around town, which is... Yeah. <laughs> He's cleaning his nails again. Sorry. Fun at first. Or, uh, you know, fun for no, a little bit. I mean, and the music is great in all of them. The music yeah. is amazing. Yeah, John, well, it's John me. Carpenter, baby. Yeah. And Cody Carpenter's son. Very good. <clears throat> Have you seen... John Carpenter's a, a, a composer? Yeah. Yeah. Really? yeah. And the, and, and he, the director, he director right? of the thing. thing and, yeah. yeah. He started out... Multi-talented man. He wow. was in a band with... Oingo Boingo. Four, <laughs> four or five of the guys who like made the original Halloween movie and like went huh. on to work in the other ones. Um, there's a picture of them like Danny Elfman and Oingo Boingo yeah exactly (laughs) there's a picture of them in all of the Will Shat masks playing music like you know months before the production of the movie wow which is really interesting that's incredible yeah Um, 
have how many of like the original like five thousand that they made have you seen? I really have not. I love the first one, mm-hmm. and then I had seen sporadic of the other ones. Have you seen the second and third one? I think I've just seen the second one, and the f- then clips of the other ones. But yeah, I, it's all just a. The third one is when it becomes when it, the third one is has nothing to do with Michael Myers. That's cool. Has nothing to do. It was because what they were going to do is they were like let's just make these Halloween movies about different things. Mm. And then people were pissed. Yeah. Cause they're like, we love him. Yeah. Where's Michael? Even though he's in it, he's on TV. He's like yeah. in, in the background. Yeah. Basically he's like, right. He's, he's, out, the he's out there for the second the Halloween cinematic universe. Yeah. They literally were. Yeah. And then people were like, don't fucking do that. Yeah. But now it's like a cult classic movie and people love it. And I love it. It's a great movie, but it has nothing to do with Michael Myers. Interesting. Um, but then they get back to it. And then the movie if you could sucked. rename it something, what would you rename it to? I would just name it the same thing. Halloween season of the witch. Halloween okay. three season of the witch. That's okay. what it's called. It's like really a TV good. show they're putting on. Halloween season of the witch. It's Halloween presents season of the witch. <laughs> season of the witch. Um, but yeah, talk to me. Very good. Go see it. Mm. And that's enough. That's enough. That's enough of what work we, we got going on. Brendan, we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it because we didn't. And I regretted that we didn't talk about it last time. I even told Gavin, that yeah. I was like, why did we not talk about this? This is like the only reason why we're friends with Brish. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And yeah. then he like hasn't done anything like it yeah. since. Yeah. <laughs> and this just happened. And I keep going, oh, Brendan, you should take like wedding pigs at Taco Bell or something. Yeah. I just keep giving him like ideas to take <laughs> yeah. pictures at Taco Bell. Thanks for the idea, man. Yeah. Relive the magic. Come on, dude. Ooh, that's a good slogan. Can you say that again? Relive the magic. That's good. Isn't that just Disney's thing? <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> have you been to Disney World? You Twi- can't reference. Three times, it. Yeah, you, three times you I can't have. know about that. Three times I have. You been, been to okay? Disneyland? No, didn't think so. You have to go to all of them. I haven't been either. To the one in California? Oh well, then you can't. What are you doing, man? I didn't make that a was a reference. To it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how I speak, dude. I speak in um, tongues. Okay, so do you want to set? Do you want me to set this up, or do you want to set it up? You can, I'll, I'm curious how you'll set it up, okay. and then I'll just tell you. I'll if I can dive into the story if you want. I can, if, I can, if I can remember the story, really wish you would have warned me about this I'm beforehand. Sorry. So just kind of put me on the spot here. So back in the year uh, 2015, <laughs> yep, uh, that was eight years ago. Yep, there is or was. Do we want to say is or was a social media influencer? I think she's still out there on Twitter. Okay, so there is. A social media influencer by the name her handle is mo girl probs or mo girl mo girl probs mo girl probs her name is Brittany. we'll give her we'll give out her full name <laughs> even though entertainment tonight does <laughs> um but he's on a first name basis with her we're on a handle level. oh yeah yeah they yeah oh yeah i'm in a first name basis with entertainment tonight <laughs> <laughs> entertainment weekly and all that um but she as far as I know, approached you with the idea of taking her senior photos. Cause you had just, that was kind of around the time you started doing photography. Yeah. Right. Like probably a year into it, if I had to guess. Yeah. I, um, I was in like journalism and doing photos for, for school and stuff. And then I did a couple of senior portraits and I was like, Oh, maybe I could do this. And then yeah. we had some mutual friends and then that's how we got connected. And she was like, had always tweeted like two years before it was like, I'm going to do my senior Always photos Taco at Taco Bell. Bell. Right. Yeah. And, and like, she was already, she was popping. She was, yeah. During that time, even before this happened. Yeah, it was kind of like a big, you know, like the St. Charles, or not like the Missouri high schools. Right. It was like, that was a big Twitter page. Right, right. And so, as far as I know, she approached you with doing it. And then she got, <laughs> <laughs> the crowd loved that. Uh <laughs> And she got the permission of this local Taco Bell, which I still frequent almost it's weekly. A <laughs> it's a good yeah, one. It's a good one. It's a good Taco, taco Bell. <laughs> They're <laughs> They're actually, they stayed, 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 stayed excellent. Yeah. yeah, they really have. Dude, you go there at 10 p.m., you're out there in five minutes. It's over. It's, yeah. it's yeah. great. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> oh, it's, it's over. over. It's fucking over. It's over. Um, <laughs> but I, I usually get those there. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> they got Baja Blast there. there. Baja Blast? Soda! Yeah. So she got permission of this, this local Taco Bell. And you guys went there and took her senior picks there. And I'll, I'll take it from here. I will show them. What is that? Oh, he'll, he'll take it. Is from this here, one right? of them? <laughs> N- nope. 
<laughs> I that would be the, appropriate. I will, the, I will show the pictures on screen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so yeah, you take it from here as we're going through the photos. Are those your homepage on your on your photography page? Yeah, this is like you so look me up. So tell me about how I was taking this one. Well, we can't <laughs> discuss that? that. That's not allowed. Is that an ad? Speaking of seniors, Kylie Jenner is all graduated and celebrating her 18th birthday today. What? <laughs> wow, that's, that's really not, that's fucking really weird. Old, that's old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to. Dude. That has nothing to do with you, Brendan. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on with this page? I'm scrolling. <laughs> you just keep what scrolling. Happened? What is going on? It's just showing. Oh my god! It crashed the website. <laughs> it just reloaded before my eyes. Well, there's a little thing here. Uh, there's a little. <laughs> Slide little, little. Oh, and it even has a little tag for you at the oh, bottom. Wow! So tell me about how it was taking. So did they ask you for this for entertainment tonight? Did they yeah, tell you? me how it was doing this? That scene. was really good, actually. <laughs> I remember the shoot like it was yesterday. You remember taking pictures of the Yokiro Taco Bell dog in 1998? <laughs> yeah. Look, it says his yeah, name right, right, right like, there. Oh, look at that. You can see how times change because it's now bachelor photography. So that's Brendan bachelor oh, photography. Because I was like, and this there's nothing wrong. The I mean, I was before he got sued. Yeah. <laughs> Long before. <laughs> um, but this was, you know, I, it was not really a job at this point. I was like right. doing it as like, I had just finished construction. I worked hard that summer. Did you do construction? I did construction. I didn't know that. I did not a know friend, that. Uh, <laughs> a friend's dad owns a construction or like main, or like was a really top supervisor for like mm. a construction company. And then I, my friend was like, yeah, they make like, they make bank. And uh-huh. it's like I was like, okay, sick. And I don't know why the hell. Fifteen I, bucks an hour. And they make bank, honestly Dean. It was something like that because it was like a union laborer job. Yeah. I was like, I had worked at the movie theater, and I was like making seven dollars an hour. So I do I was, remember you like, working at movie theater. I was like, you I need can, money for the dean. I can double that. Yeah, <laughs> amen, brother. We got a big dean. Amen. Up. Um, and so I was like, double that. All right. And then I worked that for like two and a half months, and it was <laughs> Hell really hard. horrible. I got super tan. I had like a glove tan for my construction gloves. Um, and I was just literally a laborer who was like sorting and lifting stuff and breaking stuff down. And it was, uh, there was a day where I like had to crawl into like a, like a, it was a concrete like company. They like pour molds mm. for buildings for concrete and stuff. And I remember the middle of this, it was like halfway through the summer. So I was like, truly, I was like, this is only halfway. They were like, I had to crawl inside of it and like work on my back and it was raining and I was like having a really bad day and I was like you know I was like the new guy or like the you know the one right. that they like mess with and stuff. the green horn yeah, the green horn like, yeah and they were actually extremely very nice but I do remember it was a rough day and then they were like you gotta climb into this thing and I was like oh. was it like the bottom of a house no it was like it was just like a weird structure that was like to pour concrete, but it was like laying, okay. and I could fit fully inside of it. But it was like twenty feet long. So like, child labor. I had to like climb, and you know, I was eighteen, so I was an adult. No, but man. I was saying like that's the reason why some people still support child labor because they were able to fit right. in those big machines really well. <laughs> right. True, yeah. Uh, they were actually <laughs> extremely nice though, and then they were like, when I left, they're like, "Keep pursuing those dreams, man." And I was like, "Thanks, guys." So yeah. they're they're pretty sick. Uh, but I was like into photography already and done some senior photos, but then I did this senior photo for her or this like senior sesh. Um, and then she had a pretty big following, so it mm-hmm. helped it, you know. It's a lot easier to go viral when you have 50,000 people right. who are going to favorite and retweet you anyway. Um, but it kind of took off a little bit, and then it was like, give I had, me, so give had me my the, 15 minutes. Yeah. It was fun. Give me the time. Do you remember the timeline at all of like... 8.30 p.m. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was Tuesday. like a couple Where, days, and I was like... picked it up first, and how, it, how did it snowball? Um, let's see here. It was... So she posted it on her Twitter, and it kind of popped mm-hmm. off for like... There were a couple of days, I think, where it was just like a really viral tweet. So right. it was like... And for uh, those who don't know... Uh, I'm sorry, X. X, I'm the so artist sorry. formerly known as Twitter. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Time has changed. It's okay. Some man. things. Hey, just keep up, all right? <clears throat> I'm trying, It's man. a fast-paced world out there, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was a pretty big former act, a tweet. We could, we'll call it a tweet. It was a tweet at the time. Yeah, you can call um, it a tweet. Yeah, so she got 100,000 followers now. Yeah, she's still doing... Yeah, she's still got a lot. Um, Not verified. So... <laughs> Elon didn't let that one pass. Interesting. Um, so I think it was just a pretty big tweet for a while. Um, yeah. And then there were, I can't remember who was first. I think it was, I think the biggest first one was like, and this was back at a time when like being on BuzzFeed was like yeah. the thing. And I yeah. was like, oh my God. So I, I was with, I was with a good friend, Avery and Shout out. we pulled into quick trip 
and then we saw that it was on BuzzFeed, and I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. We're on BuzzFeed now. Did and then BuzzFeed was the catalyst for like all the other sites to be like, oh, slow news day. Let's talk about that. So right. they all just picked it up, and then that was like the buzz thing. But uh, my friend Avery, being who he is, like finessed some things and got us onto like a morning talk show. And oh, I did. I forgot all about I, that. Yeah, I, did not I gotta know go. That. S- I gotta go see. I, did you get on Ellen? I, <laughs> no, we did not get that far. Um, was that a goal? Was mm, that a goal? Really? Maybe back then. I don't okay. know. But I was like, Did you get on Wendy Williams show? <laughs> no. Damn it. We should have though. But yeah, um, I forgot. It was 2015, so it was, right? 2015. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was you and Brittany that got on the show, right? Yeah. So he like right, right? finessed some things, made some calls. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, and was like. <laughs> literally typical made calls, probably yeah but. so we like had a st louis morning like wake up st louis like a classic and we went downtown and tell me uh, about that what it was, was interesting like? you know i was what? probably i actually funny enough this i guess is my tv stance was yeah this is tv of course after all and i remember watching back the footage and the whole time maybe i'm doing it now the any podcast viewers can mm. let me know but my biggest like regret was my anxiety manifested in my foot oh so like the whole interview i was like yeah it was really awesome <laughs> <laughs> so that was i hated that um, that's funny but it was interesting i think in the like who i don't know they just asked us a few questions and we were like yeah it was fun were they mostly trying to find the tweet i can't i think so yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember it was like kind of did you have to get there super early for that yeah we got there like a couple hours early checked in through security and came up and then that's we sat cool. and watched the other like we were that's just like glocking s- glocking <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and then we were sitting in like an audience of like six people who were like also guests on the show that day and it was like rows of empty chairs and then just like a few other people who were like waiting for their turn to have their little like presentation on the- any notable no idea names? No. no idea it was like a small show yeah thing. Um, but then a bunch of articles got written about it you have internet entertainment tonight and there was 17 and now did all of them cre- cause this one we're looking at right now, I'll probably just show the actual photos on screen, but yeah. entertainment tonight. Is it entertainment tonight? Is that what their thing is? I think so. ET, ET, the extraterrestrial. <laughs> did they all credit you like this? A lot of them did. Yeah. A lot okay. of them were pretty nice. And did then it, Buzzfeed. I, I'm pretty sure. And okay. I got a lot of people flooding to my Facebook which was like it was like a huge i was like oh my god this is crazy i'm gonna be rich off of this right and then i think i booked like one senior photo session after because they were like oh it's the guy who did the photos but Mm -hmm. it was like mostly just people who like saw the news article clicked on my page clicked like and then like a few over the next couple months people who didn't actually care started like slowly unliking my page when they would be like i don't don't know i want to follow this guy um but it He's definitely, not just it definitely doing Taco he took it photos. took it took it personally. <laughs> I did take it personally. I remember set I set up shop in a Taco Bell. That was my first the... experience of being like reading comments though, because people were like putting hate comments out there, and they're like, "This photography sucks." Uh-huh. And then I was like a little cringe because I w- I got in there and oh, as no. me, I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, it's bad." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you're right. I guess. And then they're like, "No, I didn't mean that. They're actually these these ones are actually really great." And then I, I like put them on okay. the defensive, which was funny to me at the time. Right. Like, no, just, you're right. I, I was just trying to be like, uh, um, <laughs> "Yeah, I do suck." <laughs> uh, pretty fuck much. Me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should probably go die, right? Oh yeah. shit, fuck me, I suck. <laughs> no, dude, you're. It's okay. You know, you're just starting out. <laughs> no, it's over. I'm shutting it all no, down. No, I'm done. I got. Page <laughs> I got one request <laughs> for the LLC. It's gone. <laughs> I got a request for boudoir photography, and I was like, no. At the age of 18? And I was like, I literally just left high school. I don't know why you're doing this. Wow. Please stop. Have but you gotten any sense? Um, I don't think so. Because I think people know, like, that's a very specific type of photography. So right, if you, you don't have to advertise, advertise it. it. Right. Yeah. So it's like, I think people... No, you had to put a for little... For the most uh, part now, no. <laughs> you had to yeah. put a little pepper in your bio. Be yeah. like, DM for... <laughs> DM for spicy content. So I was like, that, I remember that inquiries. scared me because I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Um, but I cannot cool. see it gave a boob. Me, gave me my 15, <laughs> cannot see that. Um, gave me a little 15 minutes, mostly her 15 minutes of fame, but mm. you know, my name was underneath yeah. all the articles, so it was fun. That's good the that they all And then I was like, I was really excited about it and then I was embarrassed. Why? Um, I think I was like, I didn't like the attention or I didn't want people to like, be like this guy thinks he's cool and I'm that's because like, oh, i was like Bell guy because i was like i didn't do anything i just took photos and then she kind of it went viral for her being like a mm. twitter presence already which she wanted she wanted yeah that. yeah uh, when it was very i was still like i i was excited but i think i was also like nervous because i wanted to 
take photography seriously so i didn't want people to think i was like getting shortcuts or anything right. but like it really did not you're an industry the player. most shortcut it gave me was just like it gave me confidence to take photos mm -hmm. so i think that helped me get through the embarrassment so we're like now i'm not embarrassed it's very like you know yeah. it's just kind of a fun cool yeah, thing yeah. that happened and it kind of after a summer of working construction gave me the confidence to be like oh i can take photos and make money off of it and right like, you can do this now right so it was kind of like a good like push into mm. giving me confidence i think yeah because i remember when it all happened because we were we were friends at oh, the sitting time in science. Yeah. A sitting the in science the day the world us. stood still when <laughs> no, brendan took those photos because you you graduated what 2014 right 2015 2015 so it was so two was, months later right you she did her senior that. photos like early she was a year younger than me right so we were out it was summer and i don't remember i feel like i whenever i first saw it it was Solid. i think i think it was just on tv and i just like stopped and i was like what the fuck I what is going guy. on right now and it was so weird and then at the time i was really into watching uh Erm cnn know, cnn Huge. i was really into watching don lemon oh, philip so. defranco name dropped it exactly yeah that's so i i don't i can't remember <laughs> if i was like i didn't think about that that's crazy yeah that I, I can't remember weird. if i was watching him that often at the time but i knew of philip defranco and i watched his stuff and I think I was just like, what's oh, going on, you beautiful <laughs> bastards? <laughs> right. Stop, I, stop. I think you had, somebody had mentioned it or something. And, and, and so I went and saw it. Saw it. And then I watched him talk about it. And then like some of the guys from SourceFed, which I was a really big fan. Oh, yeah. I was a huge fan of SourceFed. Yeah, yeah. That was honestly, I forgot that that happened. And that was yeah. kind of a cool thing. Cause I watched them like growing up or like through right. middle school and high school. So to have them talk about something. Yeah. And then my name be right there. And like, they made a joke about it. Uh, Phil made a joke about it, like doing prom at a Taco Bell and two of the source fed guys were like dancing yeah. in a Taco Bell and I was like what the fuck that's because of my what my friend did yeah that's so weird because I watched these guys and I just remember that being like so crazy to see that happening um you know I could give a fuck about the news but <laughs> 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 but to see somebody I knew and I was like yeah. whoa that's crazy I still try yeah. to get people to, uh, I'll be like, yeah, I'm friends with Ben, Brandon Bachelor. He's the guy that took the senior and Taco Bell pictures. Yeah. No always, one would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're always, <laughs> dude, we're, like, always we're always name dropping. Hey, yeah. man. We're yeah. trying to keep it's it It's been alive. a little too many years now, I think. <laughs> but you guys did recreate them, correct? Yeah. When she graduated, am I wrong about that? she like wanted to do it again when she graduated from college, college. or got a degree. So mm -hmm. we kind of did like another grad session there. Oh, nice. And so. you did do those. Yeah. But then she, I think she did an... Then she did it again, Ooh. <laughs> and I didn't take those. But uh -huh. it was only like a year later, I think. So that was some, you know, that was something. Maybe she just wanted to try again. It didn't pop off the way. Perhaps it's, it's like it's like knows. reposting a uh, reposting a TikTok that didn't pop pop off. You know? It's just, yeah, it's just yeah. Something we'll give it. We'll give just it like a give shot. it. Up. And maybe it was a photographer. Let's give it. A, let's, let's try again. I mean, I don't know. Those first ones. I mean, yeah, there. he sucks. There he, really, he actually does suck, though. He does suck, yeah. though. That photographer, yeah. he sucks. Wow. Where'd well, this guy come from? I'm happy to relive your 15 minutes of fame because that was a huge part of, of my your life. history. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big part Made of my you life. Who you are today, right? It moment. really molded me into who I am now. Carson took and his senior pictures and uh, at a McDonald's. And at a McDonald's because yeah. he just always tweeted about McDonald's. I never posted those. Keep them to yourself. Nope. It was a boudoir to shoot. To <laughs> <laughs> like the burger buns. They didn't allow it. Yeah. yeah. We, and the Fry Guys, or no, it's Burger King. Uh, we had a Grimace come out and. Give me a big old hug while his butt ass <laughs> naked was... in, the, in the McDonald's parking lot. No, no, it was a jock strap. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, that that was great. I'm happy to relive that because it. Gosh, how many years has that been now? Because it was probably. Was it July of 2015? It was like August. So, yeah, truly August. like eight years ago. Wow, that's crazy. We're old. Dude, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> that was a quarter of my life, boy. Oh. The quarter. Of your, that was a quarter pounder of your life. Yeah. Um. Man, we're running out of time, and there's we. Yeah, we don't have to get to, to any clips. of our stuff. Well, we might just skip all this. Um, just to kind of briefly go over this. Let, let's just brief through the Maui stuff, little taste stuff, and then we'll jump into our next door drama. Um. So it was. So this. Ter obviously, our hearts go out to what the situation that happened in Maui with the wildfires Maui. and stuff. Um, Maui, wowie. Almost up to like 100 deaths or something. Yeah, something some reason, yeah. Insane. And I and Biden kind of didn't mention anything about it for a while. He was very silent on it. And then he mentioned that he's going to give $700 to each resident. 
And I feel like that is kind. Of, it just seems like kind of a joke to me. Yeah, especially, I just don't know where where that number. And came Hawaii from. already has kind of like a troubled history, right? In, right. In American history, and to be like, we're gonna throw money at you, yeah. seven hundred dollars per person. Hey, Oprah said she'd give money too. Okay, she's there, got two thousand right. acres there. There's plenty of. There's a lot of people setting up GoFundMe. <laughs> a lot of people that a lot of rich people have land there too. Well, there's well they're Zuckerberg. not doing shit about it. They don't give a fuck. But there are people setting up like GoFundMe's and stuff, donations and and stuff, which is great. But to have our government be like. We're gonna give you. Seven, yeah, so we can swing. We can swing maybe seven hundred dollars. And is that like to everyone who was affected? Each yeah. you have to like prove Resident. that you were affected. Probably. I'm sure there's like yeah. stupid stuff in the fine print that even gets more ridiculous than just giving you seven hundred bucks. Interesting. But we're also throwing like billions at Ukraine because it's helping our military industrial complex. So it's not benefiting us to give people who you know died and lost their house. So in a fire we're gonna just give them a measly couple hundred bucks yeah anyways i just felt like that was 700 bucks don't spend joke. it all in one place right it's an interesting number hey everyone carson jumping in here um unfortunately the card on our audio recording device completely got filled up and we didn't notice in time until the episode was over so from here on out it'll be camera audio only for sure it is and and to be completely it seems honest, like it's calculated somehow and it's like right. how did you come up with that and to be completely I honest with you i've just i've merely just briefly looked into it that just kind of caught me off guard there's just a there's also a lot of people saying that it's like a false flag and all that other stuff on twitter because twitter oh, i'm sorry x <laughs> x is like this 4chan no oh. i like this 4chan site now so there's people being like um it's fake oh, why are all the trees not burned and all the leaves are burned like all the fronds of the palm tree are yeah. all burned off i think all the trees are burned. yeah and they all were and people were like isn't this weird they were like Speculating as a giant Jewish space laser. Bunch of gross. I'm not kidding. They're always doing that. Yep. And unfortunately, some of the episode is missing now because of the audio recording device filling up and our cameras cutting out and needing to restart them. So it'll just pick up right from here. Some controversial shit like that. You yeah, know, I, st I stopped using my Twitter usage went down when yeah. all the replies just were like garbage. Yeah, I, I feel like they just started it. being trash. No, they and don't. then all the people. I feel like it had it had a switch where it went from like. If there was something that were like controversial or like against my views, usually, usually I would see like the person who I follow as like the the larger text responding to a smaller subtext. But I feel like my timeline became it switched to where as I'm reading, as a default, I view the like larger tweet as like my viewpoint because that's how it's gone. Mm -hmm. And then it switched, so then I was like reading all these viewpoints that were like not dissenting. Mine. Yeah, and then I was like. I thought that it was it was just flipped, so I was like seeing, I, and I subconsciously saw the creators' names, and I was like, they're saying that, and then I realized it was, oh, I hate that person. Like this is a really trash person. Right. Like, this take, and then yeah, I haven't been on in a couple months, so it sounds like it's just getting worse with more. Oh, it is. It's really and, bad. Yeah, yeah, it's really bad. Now. I don't, I don't touch it. But, um, you know, you mentioned you mentioned that you can make money on Twitter off of impressions. Uh, you know, who also made money off of impressions. Uh, Bill Hader. <laughs> that's good the whole cast of snl they make money off of impressions <laughs> that's great um anyways that was, that was my that was my segue out of it uh but let let, let me know what 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 if old defrango say let me know what you think at home let me whatever. know what you guys think yeah but let me know what you guys think that's just my opinion on it what's um, going on you beautiful bastards what's going on uh equals three did they make it on the equals three <laughs> yeah, did the pictures make it on the Equals 3 with Ray Williams Johnson? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I think he was dead and gone by that point. Not I don't know. Dead, but. Uh, so, really quickly, <laughs> Little Tay. Are you familiar with Little Tay at all? I am not. So, Little Tay was this like viral internet sensation. She Almost like an anti-star. Yeah. Is this the one that like it, they said that they passed away yeah. recently? And then they said maybe not? Yeah, so she, she was literally famous for her I parents read, exploiting her right well kind of so she was literally famous for three months back in 2018 and it was her half brother that owned the social media account and was kind of like coaching her to do these like like you know flex videos yeah flex like, videos like flex she was a rapper videos yeah. And stuff, yeah and they like you know rented a car from somebody yeah. and, and stuff like that and it was just this internet persona. music videos but she was like 10 years old at the time so and like look at the children look what they're doing with the children yeah but her parents were okay with it, and they like literally moved out there, I think, to kind of do something like that. And then it became that the parents were getting more into it and exploiting it, and then it just kind of like 
crumbled and nothing happened and the half brother was like making a bunch of posts on her social media about like the dad being abusive and it was just like it was just kind of like left there since then and yeah it went recently, off the rails really quick right <laughs> and then recently it was posted that her and her younger brother passed away yeah and like and a nobody somber statement on yeah. the yeah because right, I saw confirm. that headline and I was like, I don't know who this is, but that's sad. Yeah. Even her like stepdad, who I guess lives in Canada, they live in Los Angeles, couldn't even confirm it. Like nobody could. And, and like their like managers and everybody yeah. was like, we can't confirm or deny the right. validity of this And situation. then finally, they looked into it and like apparently her account got hacked and like people from Meta or Facebook confirmed that that did happen and they helped her them get her account back. But she was just hacked, and somebody made a false like. And all the articles came out about it. Too. Yeah, it was yeah. Just like, it was cr- yeah, like everybody so was him. Yeah, apparently. I mean, I guess so. She's you know was exploited as a child, but is hopefully yeah. kind of out of that situation. There's been a, there's also just been a lot of like fake death stuff that's come out. It's been going on for a long, long time. Long time. Yeah. So I mean, like it's not it's too surprising that something like this would happen. But we'll say it's one of the first that's happened on social media where they'll break the news over social media and then it turns out that person's not right at all right whereas before it was like a press release or you know something else yeah it was just very weird and it just kind of like i don't know brought brought that back up into my mind of like man do i really fucking hate when people exploit their kids or stuff like that and it's just yeah fucked up so what about that kid that does but, like toy openings? Do you think he's been exploited? Ryan's toy reviews. Yeah, I've heard yeah, mixed go. things on that. I, I was gonna say I've heard positive I still things. Don't I don't like know it. if that's Ryan's toy yeah. propaganda that they're pushing. Right. <laughs> um, I mean, I still don't think as a kid you can can you should be able to consent to doing something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Now there was I've, just a law uh, put in place in Illinois for right. child influencers that they like get a certain amount of like, like put away money. Yeah. That's yeah. like guaranteed for them. That's really. It's, there was also stuff that came out about Disney stars where like uh, they wouldn't have to make like minimum wage during the first three seasons and right. like their contracts. And so after three seasons, Disney would rebrand the show so it'd be a technically mm-hmm. a new show. Because mm-hmm. there's no like firm laws on it. No. Of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That stuff's that's kind of crazy. With the, whole, with the whole YouTube stuff, it's like it's interesting because there's so many creators who have like families who are like making content. Yeah. I talked to Ashley about this and there's like. I think the problem becomes when the kid becomes the source of the content. Yep. So, like, there are definitely YouTubers who, like, you know, if their kid's in the video just being themselves, I think that, you know, I guess it's an interesting thing to, like, yeah. you know, who knows what... Because they have, like, family YouTubes and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, who know. knows what damage will be done in 20 years to know, like, you know, millions of people yeah. knew what you had for breakfast, but that's definitely, I think, less damaging than, like... Making them... The content is revolving around the kid. Like, right. oh, what's, what's Jimmy, like, it's Jimmy's day at the blank yeah. and... He chooses all the choices for the we video. We took him to the hospital. <laughs> and then we're going to the Lego like, store. You get to pick out whatever you want. Right. Um, and like we watch these people <clears throat> who like do like theme park videos, and they mm-hmm. eventually had a kid, and he, their kids are <clears throat> in the videos sometimes. But at least so far, it's more just like they're in the videos. Yeah. But it would be like I feel like I would start to have trouble watching them if it was like their child is with the focus of the video, or mm-hmm. if it felt like they're parenting. Because, like, I feel like you'll even hear them in the videos. Like, it, they'll just be, like, they'll respond completely normally as a parent. They won't stuff a camera yeah. in their face. Right. But that so, Yeah, that, I, I I think it's still a, a gray area for me. But yeah. I'm way more okay with that. But than, there are a lot like, of family vloggers who, like, really, yep. like... Nail really, home the fact that their kids are the ones making the And content, it's, like, doing right, the content. If your kid them. is in charge of making your family the money, it's, like, a problem. Yep. Yep, 100%. Um, Shirley Temple Claws. I had a few of those. <laughs> I've had a few of those in my day. Uh, moving on to somewhat of a lighter note. It's not really. It's kind of a fucked up story. Uh, next door drama, everybody, in case you don't know, and in case Brendan doesn't know, he knows now, uh, is a weekly uh, segment on our show where we go to the infamous next door uh, blog posting website. And it's a, in case you don't know what it is, a blog posting website for your neighborhood where people can post whatever the fuck they want. Uh, I was telling Brendan that it's mostly just white people complaining, white moms complaining, <laughs> suburban moms, I guess I should say more than just white, but you get it. Um, and what we do every week is we take an entry and we script it out. We script it out with the comments of the, the blog post entry, and then we do a dramatic reenactment of it. And this week is the first time I am taking a step back. I am fulfilling my role as a director 
and giving this one over to our two stars, Gavin and Brendan. And, Brendan, you will be playing Susan, okay. who's a concerned citizen. Gavin, you will be playing Teresa, who's a senior citizen, and a even if the name doesn't pickle. say, even if the name doesn't say like who it is, then we just still pretend it's Susan. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't say the names. Uh, this is now this is a real true crime story, titled "I May Never Get That Money Back." Now, without saying much else, I'm going to play the next door drama intro song, and then we are going to get right into it. Oh, I got that. <laughs> Just as an FYI, I received a bill via PayPal, which I do not have. I called PayPal and turns out I was hacked via some kind of networking question mark? Not sure how, and they tried to wire transfer about $12,500 from my bank, which I do not have. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, I spent an entire afternoon getting this issue resolved, which ended on a good note. <coughs> PayPal has been targeted by a number of scams. I changed my bank accounts after they tried to get into mine. My bank agreed it was the right thing to do. So, to follow up, I have total I have been totally scammed. <laughs> Damn. I thought this person from PayPal was working with someone from Bank of America. I gave him, gave him the number to call, and I think he may have called a different number. The person he spoke to spoke with had me fake wire some money. And the weird thing is, I was not able to tell anyone, not even the bankers at Bank of America because I was being it was being monitored by the security agents. Needless to say, I may have lost $12,500. I did talk to the bank, and they were going to try and retrieve the money for me. I feel so stupid. Like, I should have knew what was going on. But it is such a horrible situation. Ah, uh, listen. I am so sorry this happened to you. What advice would you give to the rest of us? <laughs> After your experience? I did just file a police report. I feel a little calmer today. So after all this, my advice is never call the number listed on a so-called bill if you're unsure what is going on. Look it up on Google or some search engine. If you search, um, if you by if you by some unfortunate choice you do, don't give them your social number, any bank info, pin number. They may say this is under FBI, CIA, etc. Don't believe them, and above all, don't wire them anything. If they tell you to wire, but don't tell anyone since it is supposed to be a secret, or just hand up. The only reason I called the only reason I called was I thought someone sent up a phony account in my name. I never use PayPal, Venmo, or any of those. I am leery about those. <clears throat> oh my god. When you see an, am an email from Amazon, Apple Pay, PayPal, you name it, advising you that you need to take some action to avoid being scammed, check the sender's address. That's your first clue. That email is never directly from those companies. It's always a scam. As soon as you respond by clicking a link, calling a phone number, contacting them, contacting them in any manner, the scammers have you. Mark that email as spam and delete it immediately. If you're unsure, go to the company's website and see how to contact them directly. Then do it. Also, if you get an email you want, that you want a prize from Home Depot, Harbor Freight, wherever, you didn't, you did not. So don't click those links either. A good rule of thumb is don't click any link in an email ever, no matter how tempting it may be. Take note of the address, open your web browser, and navigate to that vendor independently. These days, it's better to be safe than sorry. Also, oh, also, if you're a senior who answers your phone without checking it to see who's calling, stop that. If you don't recognize the caller, let them leave a message and you call them back if it's important. Scammers love to catch seniors unaware the only way to stop them is to outsmart them and stay one step ahead of them. That's never your grandchild calling on the phone from jail with their one free phone call, so don't fall for it. Thank you. That is so interesting to learn, especially the so-called you won. I never opened them. 
We should open that. <laughs> I never open them since I don't shop those anyway. Also, as a follow as a follow up, those scammers left a message on my iPhone yesterday saying that I needed to call them so they finished up the job. Of course, I did not call them back. I thought, seriously? Did you not get enough? Freaking scammers. I do already have LifeLock. I did call the police as well as the bank. I was told I may never get that money back. Thanks everyone for all your support. Thanks for your support and advice. This was just the worst experience ever. It's very unfortunate. Now, I would like to point out that obviously this is a true story. And it is sad because this shit does happen and we are making light of it. Um, but we are making light of it to bring light of it and show that it is a real thing that does happen to old people. It's happened to my my, my grandma, the, the prison phone call thing. Yeah, my grandparents had one where they, a, grand, a grandchild called after an accident. Yeah. It's, it's tough. It's crazy. They can so spoof your number happen. too. Yeah. Ooh, that's bad. I've seen that before where they make it sound like it's a hostage situation. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. And they're like, yeah, it's pretty bad. So that shit does happen. Uh, but you know, we make com we make comedic. It always it always feels like, yeah, obviously, you know, like oh yeah, of course. Yeah. But to but, old people. But, but also to just sometimes like even my classmates, not gonna lie, have fell for mm. it before. We've gotten phishing scams make it through our like filtering system at school right and even after that they'll still click the link and everything and uh think it's real and then put in all their information log into the school account and then they get send in an email they send out an email as that person and mm -hmm. it's yeah it's messy crazy well great job of doing that read brendan that was thank you yeah, that was great that was i was just cold, that was, was a cold reading i was yeah. just pissed <coughs> that this happened to me I just, yeah. you know. well yeah i mean i get I, it i don't blame you <laughs> i don't blame you at all uh, segwaying quickly into our What You Listen To segment, which is another weekly segment we do where we recommend music to each other, to the audience of what we've been listening to in the past week. Gavin, oh, and it's uh, usually a, a song, an album, or sometimes an artist. Gavin, what you got for me, baby? I oh. have um, actually listen, been listening to a lot more Spotify while I play video games now. I'm trying to get my listening numbers up. <laughs> For the year. Get that wrapped. Get that yeah, wrapped. Yeah, I actually am because like I have consistently had like 20,000 minutes, which is still a lot, mm -hmm. but like still it's been around 20, 22,000 I think for the last like four years. So I'm like, eh, let me see what I can do. And I'm like, okay, I actually, um, you also don't realize like how, um, um, how often songs play. Uh, sometimes it'll, it plays like the same playlist again and I don't mean it to, or like it'll play a song later, like three hours later. I'm like, mm -hmm. just heard this song, but. Anyway, so this week I'm listening to This Old Dog by Mac DeMarco. It came out in 2017, mm. uh, in May of 2017, so after a junior year of high school. Um, got me through senior year, um, and it's really good. Um, and I remember whenever I first downloaded it and listened to the song Moonlight River, I remember telling people, oh, the ending of Moonlight River is really scary. You don't want to just go ahead and skip the end of that. But now I see like the artistic flavor of it. Uh, now, especially just because I like hearing like kind of like sad melancholy stuff and it's very goes on a little bit longer than what I'd like But it's still better than not listening to anything at all. So and it's back to Marco. So right you know, What's there to what's there to miss? So uh, good good album uh, And it's got some hits on there. So nice. Brian, what do you got? What do you listen to this um, week? I just started on the spot the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Mutant Ninja, <laughs> Ninja Turtle Ninja movie, Turtles. and yeah. I've been listening to a lot of I listened to a lot of Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross their soundtracks when I oh was, they did that soundtrack yeah they did oh you know, nice kind of a surprise I didn't know they did it until but well, somebody told me and then I forgot and then then I got more excited for the movie again when they told me again because mm -hmm. I I'd found out a long time ago that they were doing was the that. movie good the movie is pretty good okay it's pretty good very interesting like very interesting really cool like cartoon like drawing or artistic style. Um, I guess a little bit reminiscent of this new wave of like inspired by possibly like Spider Verse, but mm -hmm. 
but it mm. definitely has its own artistic flair to it and like is it the mutants and the humans like are the humans are drawn really interestingly and some of them are really ugly mm. but that's kind of cool which is kind of yeah. contrast between the mutants and the, but it very cool animation style and the music is really good because they never miss honestly nice so that soundtrack has been pretty pretty on rotation recently is it Did you like a multiverse the, uh, thing is it a multiverse um, turtles thing i don't think so i think i just was okay. saying like it's in the style of like this there's kind of a new art trend style. of art style of like like puss and boots being yeah puss like, and boots kind of a new wave of like being unafraid to try something new with well, the way these animated movies are looking um very beautiful. Did you watch the 2007 version of this movie? I did not. What? <laughs> it's probably a lot like Wallace and Gromit. Kind of that newer style animation. Well, you didn't watch this movie? No. Oh, that was a really good movie. Yeah. Did you guys see the live action one? No. Uh, I don't think I did. That was by Michael, Michael Bay, Bay, wasn't it? For some reason, yeah. Yeah. Uh, release date. Pretty sure this came on my mom's birthday. Yeah, it did. That's awesome. <laughs> I do remember wow. that. Yeah, Let's I celebrate. remember Celebrate. It's a good Let's birthday. Celebrate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's on Roku for free if you want to watch it. Oh, cool. <laughs> Let me bust out my Roku from... Now, that's a movie I reference ago. all the time. Okay. <laughs> but you can, because you've seen it? He says Cowabunga a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Steve-O was in it? Yeah, Steve-O was uh, in it. I'll have to give it a listen. I like Terms or Atticus. Atticus. Uh, Atticus Ross. Atticus. <laughs> Atticus Finch. From, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Mockingbird. Uh, this week I am listening to the album Straight Not Giving a Fuck by Human Garbage, which is a, which is a hardcore band. Um, I, I, I will be honest now, obviously this is just stuff I'm listening to this week. It's not always stuff that I love and I didn't fully love <laughs> listen to it. No, I, I did like it, but it was, it's one of those albums where it's like, I can't tell if it's supposed to be a good album or a concept album. And I think it was a little bit too overhyped in the hardcore scene. I did really like it. There are good songs off of it, but it's not something that I'm like, holy shit, this is amazing. Fun it's literally over, 17 yeah. minutes long. Oh, wow. It's okay. so fast. Uh, Dead and Gone is probably the best song on the album. That's the first one. Um, Join or Die is good. And then after that, it's kind of just a little, I don't know, it's a little weird. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe there's something I'm missing, but that's what I'm listening to this week. Give it a real quick. Oh, yeah. Anything else? So this is the new version because I got rid of my iPad, right? Okay. So it's like kind of muted. I don't know what. Do you know anything about GarageBand that can help me with this? <laughs> it's been a while since I've since I've been, <laughs> been in a there. while. Been in the trenches. Well, alright, buddy. Thanks for listening to Takes Up Kind's podcast. <laughs> uh, keep watching. Keep listening. Keep replying. Keep leaving comments. Keep retweeting. Keep and making everything. references. Yeah. Keep making references to movies you haven't watched. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we'll be here next week. We'll see you later. Carson? The vultures are waiting to pick your bones.